But in the end, when he died, again, I thought he actually died. This show got me again. Hello, my name is Hannah and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for making it through my weird rebels thing. And don't worry, more weird to come. I'm not weird. But that's why you're here, right? Because I'm a little gookie, like the French, but the Quebec French. No offense to the Quebec French, they scare me a lot. Today, I'm gonna talk about my thoughts of season two. So my notes are very sporadic and they like get less as I go through further and further on, but let's talk about it a little. This is your only chance. What? We can't leave now. We have to get the information they gave us back to the Rebellion. In episode three and four though, rationally I knew Kanan and Ezra were gonna go back. There was a part of me that really thought Rex was going to die. We're covering your escape, now move! And I got really sad and was very close to tears because of the Clone Wars. These are so good, they're so interconnected and I love it. And then they turned around and it was great as I should have known they would, but I didn't, okay. Oh, and when Rex and, and Ahsoka hugged at the end of that episode, oh, you got old. <laughs> you got old. Episode five. Zago, is, is that you? Not exactly. Do we all just love Hondo? Like I know he's the bad guy and we're not supposed to, well, maybe we are supposed to like him, but I love Hondo. He's just like so ruthless and out for himself, but he somehow has this like weird code with it. Like he just betrays everybody and I love Hondo. We all love Hondo. In episode eight, I'm sitting there just minding my own business and I'm like, er, is that Gina Torres? Well, would you suspect that thing? I guess not. That's too bad. My idol, who I wish to be when I grow up. I don't know if this is a good or bad thing to put out into the universe, but any role that she's too old for, I want it. And I mean, she looks fantastic. We're 20 years apart, if you can believe it. She looks fantastic, but just in case, she's too short for a role, maybe. I'm available. I want it. I want her, I want her every, she's so great. She's so cool. Episode nine got me again. This is something this show consistently did. I really thought Rex was gonna die. What are you doing? Get those men out of here, they need you. I can slow them down. Again. They got me again. And then Kanan goes back for him. I gotta go back for my friend. Oh, I'll be friends instead. Uh, I've gotta get my friend. <laughs> In episode 10, when Ahsoka was like, oh, you qualify as a Jedi more than me. Really? What I have to say is Jedi business. Then I guess I qualify. You qualify more than I do. Do we all think that? Cause I don't know if I think that cause she left and he didn't leave, but she had more years in, you know? Your landing has been granted and fighters will escort you to Jalot City Depot for processing. Episode 12, Leia, fun. This is Princess Leia Organa. I look forward to it, Lieutenant. This also made me very cranky about Kenobi. I'm sure this is another very cold Star Wars take, as all my takes are. Only cold takes here, no hot take. But Kenobi would have been better if Leia wasn't in it, right? Why did they do that to us? Like, if Kenobi had just been a little story about Kenobi helping a Jedi we've never met before and we meet in his show, get off Tatooine, just re re recommit to the Force and the whatever and like, find his way back and then have a little chit chat with Qui-Gon, like, why did Leia need to be there? It just makes no sense. Anyways, I digress. We never met, but I do know you. You're a survivor. Episode 13 had some Mandalorian stuff, which was really fun and weird because I really like Mandalorian stuff in the animated shows and I don't really like the Mandalorian which is such a bummer. In episode 14, we get more Hondo and I feel spoiled. Hello, hello. I love that Ezra and Hondo are friends and yet, well, friends adjacent and Hondo is still just only in it for himself all the time. Yeah, that's them. And the whole thing with Zeb and the prophecy and the forest and the forest having different names and ah. Uh, the Ashla, the spirit of the galaxy. That was so great. And his whole thing about like not wanting to be the child and why, why, why does he get to be the warrior? So cute. Wait, wait, I'm the child. I really wanted to be the warrior. Zeb is also way older than I thought. I asked Dr. Google and one thing told me that he was 78. This prompted me to ask Dr. Google how long Lasat lived. And then another thing came up saying that Zeb was 39. So uh, I don't know, but he'll always be 17 in my heart. 
He is the warrior, and I got stuck being the child. Episode 15, I really loved the Purgle. They are so cool. Am I crazy, or is this whole episode, like, the moral of it is, uh, be friends instead, kind of. The episode 17 Callus Zeb team up, loved it. <clears throat> and my note in my phone, like I've since watched past, like the reveal of this, but my note in my phone was, is he gonna switch sides? I love a redemption arc. <laughs> and oh, Callus is lonely with the empire. So cute. Oh, episode 18, the video of Anakin. <laughs> One. He's amazing. Watch these recordings to help me with my own saber training. And this is actually the first time that I realized Ahsoka didn't know what happened to him. And I don't know why I thought she would, but I did. Up to that point, I thought she knew, like when she felt Vader, that she knew it was him through the false. I don't know why I thought that, but that's what I thought. And then, oh my God, are they gonna find Yoda? Oh no, no, she's learning he's Vader. And then I had a bunch of crying emojis because I was so sad. And then I brought, did Kanan just get knighted? Oh my God, because he's young and he didn't get to like graduate from Jedi school. So now he has graduated from Jedi school school. And I was also wondering, uh, why does the temple guard look like the Grand Inquisitor? So if somebody wants to tell me that, I would appreciate it because that was confusing for me. Also, in this episode, it kind of annoyed me because obviously there's a tracker. There's always a tracker. There's always a tracker on your ship. That's why they keep finding you. Episode 19, Chopper steals a leg. <laughs> and also, Chopper is sentient. Droids are slave labor. And Chopper being lost was very funny. I love that he found a droid friend. There's no need for violence. <laughs> well, Chopper, I also served in the Clone Wars. And the droid friend is hilarious. I, uh, I also wrote, I hope they recruit this new droid and he's giving Alan Rickman. And he was just like very dry. And I love that. But in the end when he died, again, I thought he actually died. Oh. I won't forget you, my, my friend. <laughs> this show got me again. I for sure thought he died. So I wrote, no, OMFG, Chopper's friend died. Cry emoji, cry emoji, cry emoji. And then Sabine's working on him like one second later. I replaced your damaged thermo sensors with the ones from the leg Chopper stole. So I could have just calmed down. Episode 20. I kind of hate this episode. They go to a new planet and then try to exterminate the inhabitants of that planet. <laughs> Giant spiders, creepy, not friendly. Okay, but like they live there. So be friends instead. And it was really cute that Ezra was trying to be friends instead with the spiders. Oh. Maybe one day, little buddy. Episode 22, the season two finale, Maul's Ark is, I just, I love it. You seek knowledge. I love this weird arc for him. The fight with Maul and the Inquisitors was just so fun. And I'm watching it and I'm like, oh shit, did Maul just blind, blind Kanan? Because they got me good. I really thought he was gonna be a good guy. I like, I really thought in my soul, I was watching a redemption arc. And then we get Ahsoka's big time line, I am no Jedi. Revenge is not the Jedi way. I am no Jedi. Ooh! And then not the Imperial March while they're fighting. Like this is what I was saying in the last episode that I, the last video that I posted, like the music was just ugh, juicy. They just, they just gave us what we wanted and I, and I loved it instead of hinting at things. And it wasn't exactly the Imperial March, but it was like, well, it was this. And I loved it. I wrote, why are they trying to make us think that they're dead? We know they're not dead. Also, I love that Maul keeps showing up. But then I realized, oh, when we originally watched this, we didn't know Ahsoka wasn't dead because of her show. And then I started thinking, wait, does Ahsoka happen in Rebels? somewhere because I knew I needed to watch Rebels before I watched Ahsoka. And then I got, his, got, a little, got a little stressed out that she actually was dead. And also, good job, Ezra. Kanan's blind now. Idiot. 